Stay with us on the Ultimate High School Sports Show. When we return, St. Thomas Aquinas star receiver Deron Carter talks about the Raiders defending their Class 5A state title as one of the top-ranked teams in the country. I was here once um, almost 20 years ago with a good friend of mine who used to be the manager of Native Nurseries in Tallahassee. Well, I've got lettuce, lavender, and nasturtium, and parsley, curly parsley, and lemon balm. It's just a lovely place. It's very calming, and it's just very relaxing, and she's done a great job. It's great for Madison County. We're going home to garden, and we'll have all those things grow up, and they'll be real healthy and just healthful. We started O'Toole's Herb Farm to take to markets and restaurants in the regional area. I think it's really good for people from out of town to come here, and that's why they come and they spend a lot of time here. They sit in the rocking chairs on the front porch and walk in the garden and just really kind of let it soak into them. Madison really thinks we're kind of odd, I think, but it's because they already have their own piece in their own backyards, you know, so they don't have to get away from something. They're already away from it. And thanks for keeping it locked here on the Ultimate High School Sports Show. The St. Thomas Aquinas Raiders have dominated every opponent in their path, and they certainly have a lot of talent lining up for George Smith. We spoke with wide receiver Deron Carter about how he likes to perform under the spotlight. Duran has grown an inch and put on about 15 pounds since the 2007 Class 5A state championship run for St. Thomas Aquinas over Osceola. The only two catches for Carter in that game both went for touchdowns and a total team effort by the Raiders, who are ranked among the top five in the country this season. As a receiver wide open, it's Carter again. So it's always fun to be at the top of the list, you know, kind of be the top dog. But we always have to produce, and we come out and practice every day, feeling like we have something to prove to everybody, and that's being Florida State champs and hopefully national title. George Smith has led the program at St. Thomas Aquinas since he became the coach in 1974, and four state titles among the other great accomplishments have included many solid young men who get the job done in the classroom and on the field. We've been very blessed with uh, great human beings that have played here, a lot of them. Uh, and the mark of our better teams through the years have been with a group of kids that were just good people and, and wanted to succeed and wanted to work hard to succeed. And those type of people are going to go on and be successful in life. Coach Smith gets some top flight assistance from receiver coach Chris Carter on the sidelines. And he knows the bloodlines certainly are in Deron Carter's favor. He's headed to Ohio State next fall, following in the footsteps of his father, an All-American in the 80s for the Buckeyes, and a future NFL Hall of Famer who caught 1,101 passes and 130 touchdowns during his pro career. But Deron definitely has established his own identity and made an independent decision to attend one of the nation's best business schools to prepare for life after football. Actually, I was a Michigan fan growing up. And, you know, my dad had accepted that. But uh, based on my visit going up to Ohio State, I really liked it. My dad had a little bit of influence, but his career there really didn't have too much to do with what I chose to go to college. Thanks to his famous dad, Carter inherits great football IQ to go with physical attributes like soft hands and long arms. The 6'4 height advantage over smaller defensive backs is compounded by skill sets that are obvious when he creates separation, oftentimes making the first defender miss and getting crucial yards after the catch. Number eight is a playmaker who receives scholarship offers from schools like LSU, Auburn, and Wisconsin, but top-ranked Ohio State won the recruiting war, and all the focus is on having another successful year on campus at St. Thomas Aquinas. For us to have a great script ending, definitely winning states, you know. Winning states is the sort of climax of events that we could have on the football team, and it, that, it felt great last year even as a junior. So as, my, as a senior, I can't imagine what it'll feel like. And you know, Carter and his teammates down at St. Thomas Aquinas definitely stay hungry for another state title. They certainly want to bring home another trophy to their home in Fort Lauderdale. Now, when we come back next on the Ultimate High School Sports Show, Charlotte Summerall, a true leader for the Nice Girls defending state champion soccer team who doesn't allow anyone to outwork her on and off the field. The 
Ultimate High School Sports Show brought to you by Madison County's Chamber of Commerce and Board of Tourism, inviting you to learn more about Madison County by logging on to madisonfl.org. North Florida Community College, a small college with big possibilities. And by superfreakathletics.com, empowering individuals through athletics. Madison's always had a warm spot in my heart ever since that I lived here. Then I moved to Central Florida. That's when I first started questioning you know, my quality of life. I think my blood pressure went down 20 points. I stopped taking roll aids as part of a regular diet. It's just a, uh, an enormous experience. You talk to anybody, I think, that's been to Madison County or from Madison County. We're not the richest county. We're blessed in our quality of life. We're blessed in the beauty of our surrounding areas. Uh, there's rolling hills here, there's wildlife here, a serenity level that pierces the soul. And you wake up every, every morning and, and then just almost by reflex you, you say thank God for another day of being able to enjoy this. Players don't play the game, players attack the game from all sides, from every angle. Workout after workout, practice after practice, play after play, game after game. There's no stop, only go. TPU cushioning on the inside, only one line of helmets has it. It's what's on the inside that counts. Shut up and play. As we return on the Ultimate High School Sports Show, you know soccer season is definitely a time to shine for the boys and girls soccer programs down at Nice High School, enjoying so much past success. And we talked to one of the leaders of that girls team, Charlotte Sumrall, about leading by example on and off the field. Despite all the accolades that may come with being part of the highly successful Nice girls soccer team, senior captain Charlotte Summerall brings the same humble attitude and strong determination to win that in 2008 helped the Panthers capture their fourth class 4A state championship in the last seven years at Ponte Vedra. I try to lead the team as best I can by working hard, as hard as I can, and just trying to lead everybody in the right direction. There's no doubt she's going to be a leader no matter where she goes and plays. I mean, she just has that ability. She's a likable, coachable person. Uh, so I think people respond to her very well. Uh, and I think that she just leads from the front. I mean, with Charlotte, I mean, you get what you get. She's going to work hard. She's going to outwork everyone. And I think she raises the level of play for anyone who's around her because they see how hard she goes at it. She doesn't take a playoff. And I think that's where her strong suit's going to be, especially at the next level. Of course, the name Summerall has been synonymous with sports on a national and local level for many years. He's a really good person to look up to for sports because he just he's tried so hard his whole entire life to get as far as he did with the pros. I also look up to my grandma for her wisdom. My whole family, including him, have just they motivated me so much to just be the best person and athlete that I can be. With sports broadcasting in her blood, Charlotte Summerall is looking forward to a career on television after her soccer playing days are over. Well, it kind of started out as a joke because of Big Pat being the announcer that he is. Someone said, well, that would be a great thing to go to. Well, I love talking and I love sports. It seems, and I'm always yelling at the TV screen, so it just seems like the right thing for me to do. I can't really picture myself sitting at a desk in some office. I really want to be active, and it just seems like the thing that I really want to do in life. And you can see that Charlotte clearly has her mindset on winning in life. We wish her and her teammates the best of luck. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Ultimate High School Sports Show. From my partner, Jeremy Beloit, I'm Joby Smith saying so long from Madison County. We'll see you down in Orlando for the state finals next week. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or you'd like to see a team or athlete featured on the show, you can email the host at Joby at UltimateHighSchoolSports.com or JB at UltimateHighSchoolSports.com.